and Jen. Last week, we met my parents in Northeast Georgia to explore the little Bavarian-themed town of Helen, where we tried German food and took a roller coaster down the mountain. <laughs> this week, we're exploring more of Helen's natural beauty. Follow along as we hike to a local waterfall, try some more delicious food, and kayak on a gorgeous mountainside lake. Today is our second day in the Helen area, and this morning we came over to Anna Ruby Falls, which is a waterfall here in the area that's really popular. It's actually only a short 0.4 mile hike to get over to the falls and back. And the cool thing about this falls is that the start of it creates Smith Creek, and Smith Creek actually runs all the way down 550 miles through Georgia and Florida and goes out the Gulf of Mexico. So it's kind of cool that we're starting here at a body of water that's going to travel that far, but we're about to continue the hike and go see the falls. And today's a special day because it's Daddy's birthday. Hey, hey. <laughs> big, um, big 35 today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're making you do a hike for your birthday. I'm, um, I'm getting some exercise on my birthday. <laughs> um, we didn't tell people that that was kind of the whole reason we did this trip, is to celebrate Dad's birthday. Nothing wrong with that. I'm celebrating. <laughs> you having fun so far? I'm having a ball. <laughs> Everything is that <sehr> good. <laughs> that <Sehr> good. <laughs> <laughs> so as you're walking up to the falls you're walking along the smith creek here so i get, think the falls is up that way and the water runs down here okay so this right here as you can all of this that you can see is really underground water and this is probably like really really clean water until it gets to the outside um, but there's no river or anything up there. It's literally just coming out of the ground. And if you feel it here, the water is super cold. But the funny thing is, is it's again, it's coming from the earth. So it's always probably a constant temperature. So during summer, it actually melts the snow in the area. No, the or, winter. I'm sorry, yeah. during winter, it probably melts the snow in, in, around here because it's going to be feel warm, even though during summer or spring like today, it feels it's cold. cold. And so. we actually just saw a mouse here. They yeah. said in the winter the water will melt the snow and uh, thaw out some food sources for right. mice and stuff. Yeah. yeah. We're not even to the falls yet. Look how rough the water is. You want to go tubing down that? Yeah. You don't even realize how much you get banged up on that. I know. No, you couldn't tube down this. No, you just get stuck on rocks that yeah. way. Looking at it, you're like, oh, I can like stand in there. But I bet you you'd get knocked right over. Right. Crazy. <laughs> get swept out to sea. <laughs> to sea. So this is a short hike, but it is a bit of a steep one. It is. But they make these little natural benches out of rock. Claim your seat. So comfortable. Oh, so cushioned. Oh. Nice on my twishy. <laughs> hey mom, what's our theme song for today? Don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> and what's the first time? I might bring that yesterday. You're so <laughs> 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 Falls, and I was just reading about how there's actually two waterfalls, which you could probably tell. One is 153 foot drop, and one is about 50 feet. 
and it's they are formed from two different creeks coming and going over the falls here and then they both joined to become Smith Creek and the guy who found it I'll put his name here because I don't remember it but he stumbled across this apparently horseback riding and he named it Anna Ruby Falls after his only daughter so that's how it got the name and that's history with Jen <laughs> what surprised me a little bit is there's not actually like I feel like that much waterfall like I thought this was gonna be like Niagara Falls you know what I mean why'd you think of that I don't know <laughs> but like and you look at it it's like more like a thin layer of water actually yeah you can actually see like the rock like some you know some waterfalls you just see that water right down, that's what i'm which saying which is kind of like how it does on that one this one it really like lays against the rocks right. runs down and you can see like the detail of the rocks that it's going across right but it's so beautiful yeah and just the whole river that it runs into it's just such a gorgeous hike the whole way yeah this is definitely a short hike with yeah. like a really good payoff yeah for not a lot of work there's mama and daddy so there's another walkway that goes way up to a closer viewing platform so we're about to walk up there now okay so i was a little bit confused about how long the trail was I thought it was a loop this trail. This never happened before either. <laughs> I like thought every time. <laughs> well, listen, I thought it was a loop trail, so it said oh, four tenths. It so I thought the whole thing was four tenths, but it's actually an out and back trail. So four tenths is just one way. So in total, it's eight tenths of a mile. Wow, it's not really that bad. Right, but, but see. It's supposed to be a 45 minute hike, right? Yeah. And we just made a three hour drive. No, it wasn't three hours. <laughs> but see, I always do this when it's an out and back hike, and Will gets mad at me. Because I Dude, cause apparently it's only 3.6. I know it'll be a little bit of a push, but that'll be good. It turns out it's 7.2. <laughs> it's a big push. It's a straight incline the whole way. <laughs> yeah, stop complaining. Okay, we're almost done with the hike. The end is right there. <laughs> and then we're going to go grab some lunch. All right, for lunch today, we're going more for the American food route. So if you come to Helen and you're not really into trying German food, um, this place is highly rated. It's called Big Daddy's Restaurant and Tavern. Big Daddy's Restaurant and Tavern. And the menu looks really, really good. It has like some Southern American food. So we're gonna go check it out. The restaurant had a nice, large outside eating area. So we decided to sit out there. We started off with the fried green tomatoes, which were amazing. They had crumbled goat cheese on top and a balsamic glaze. So, so good. We also tried their wings, which I believe they're famous for, and they have tons of different sauces you can choose from. Then for our main course, I got the shrimp tacos. Dad got a steak and cheese, I believe. Mom got the chicken tacos. And Will got ribs with some Chick-fil-A looking fries there. We also got an order of mac and cheese for us all to split and it was unfreaking believable Look at those beautiful cavatappi noodles and the cheese is just glistening. A plus on that mac and cheese. Overall, Big Daddy's was so good. Again, if you're in Helen and want to get a break from all the amazing German food, this place does some classic American dishes but they do them very, very well. You better not rip it, Tuck. Let me see. Let's show, let's show everybody your new toy, okay? Sit there all pretty. Let me and my fat to laugh. Do you I'll like it? it? <gasps> That's like your pillow and toy in the uh -oh. one. Uh-oh. Here, daddy get it for you. There you go. Look at that. You got it? Uh, I don't know. That was a big boy. All right, it is time. We're finally going to use the hot tub in the sauna. So it's like our second full day here and we haven't used it yet. So our plan is we're gonna do the hot tub first, then we're gonna get in the sauna because it'll dry us off. So we're gonna start it heating up. All 
right, we've been in the hot tub for maybe what, 20, 30 minutes? Yeah. And now we're gonna go get in the sauna. And actually, so Will was the one who suggested doing the hot tub first, and then we were reading like the sign, the direction signs on the side of the sauna, and it did suggest to like get in the hot tub or take a hot bath before the sauna, because I think it like opens up your pores better so that you can like sweat more once you get in the sauna. So we did the right strategy with this. Thing. <laughs> All right, I thought that there'd be like a nice warm light here in the sauna, but there's not, so I'm using Will's phone to light me up right now. But we are going to come in here. I'm probably not gonna. I always think like, oh, you can go and sit in the sauna for a while, and like so quickly, I'm like, all right, I feel mm. like I'm melting. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll see. It's at 140 degrees. Jeez. It's Jeez. been warming up while we were in the hot tub, so we're gonna sweat out all the toxins. Here we are. <laughs> okay, now, Jen. Yeah. I've never been in a sauna before. Never? I don't think so. Have okay. you? Yeah, I've been in one. What's the point? It's just hot. No, you sweat. It's supposed to make you sweat a lot. Oh, really? Yeah, and it helps you. Like, it literally, I feel like, helps release, like, toxins. Oh, really? Because it helps you sweat out a lot of stuff in your body that's bad, I guess. Gotcha. I'm not gonna lie, this is, like, kind of creepy. Alright, just, like, like staring out there waiting for the bears to come. Right, like, we should have done this earlier in the day before it got dark. This looks like, uh, this is like a scene Wait, how does this open? Oh. Like literally right when you were struggling with the door, I was almost about to say, this seems like a scene from Final Destination. <laughs> where it's like you get into a sauna and then right. it's like the door locks and you can't get out. Right. And then you just cook to death. And then Jeez. and then the temperature dial gets mm. gets broken. So, so it, goes, you can't turn it goes, down. goes up to 350 right. and you get cooked like a chicken. Jeez, now we know how all those little chickens feel. <laughs> well, but they're not cooked alive, at least. <laughs> We're like in an air fryer right now. <laughs> right, right. We're going to have a crispy skin. Crispy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we've been in here for like 10 minutes now, and I feel like I'm starting to look sweaty. You are, yeah. I, it's funny, I was telling Will, I was like, I don't feel like I'm sweating that much because, like, other than I sweat a lot on my face, but like I feel like I'm not sweating that much on my body. But then I just felt like sweat run down my back. I'm like, well, maybe I am. It's like a weird, but like the heat in a sauna is weird because it almost feels like a real dry heat. Right. So you don't like realize like how warm you are. I think like the humidity bothers me more. Like when you're outside, like walking around and it's like warm, but like mostly humid. Yeah. That's what like where I feel like sweaty more. But this feels like a real dry heat. Like, this feels For like sure. desert heat. Almost. It does, yeah. And also, we didn't already didn't follow the rules because we were supposed to drink a bunch of water, like, before, during, Nobody and after. Nobody told me. The sign told me. Oh. All done and all sweaty. <laughs> so, I think we're going to go take a shower. You're really sweaty. I am. Your head. And I can feel the sweat running yeah. down my back. Happy oh, birthday cake looks. So yummy. <laughs> oh, he doesn't like that. I want the lap of snow that day. Can I have can I have Come on, Tucker. No, you don't get to say. Tucker, come here. It's okay. Happy birthday <laughs> to me. <laughs> is that good? Everything is that good. <laughs> Happy birthday. Is he singing his own birthday? Yeah. To hey, me. come around here. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Are you singing for yourself? I'm singing for you. All right. Two, two three. three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me. Okay. Happy birthday to you. And everything is that good. Oh, Tucker says he can make, make a wish. wish. Tucker wants to help. Okay. Uh, no. I can help blow out the candles. Can you bark those out? Speak. Speak. Can you bark, Tucker? Like, come Tucker, here. come here. <clears throat> Tucker. Speak, speak. Tucker, speak. Woof. Tucker, speak. Hey. Woof. You want this? Speak. Hey. Woof. Tucker. Woof. Tucker. Uh, I don't need a plate for that. I, I don't want none of that. Can I? You know what's so funny? <laughs> so, well, that's like my least favorite cake I'm in existence. Right, that looks trifling. 
Dad Dad, I've that. always thought German chocolate cake was so gross. Because it doesn't have coconut in it. Yeah, that's yeah, true. I don't like But I just don't like the way the topping looks, and I have no interest. Oh, I've forgotten the German chocolate cake had coconut in it. Our last day in Helen and we came right down the road from our Airbnb to Unicoi State Park. We've been driving past the Unicoi Lake like all week that we've been here and it's so beautiful. And I looked it up and they do have kayaks that you can rent here. So Will and I are here today and we rented some kayaks. So we're gonna go out on the lake and it's it looks really beautiful. You have like the mountains in the background, so I'm excited to see it from the water. out on this beautiful lake and it's actually like a small little lake there's no one else out here kayaking right now so we have the whole lake to ourselves and right above us I thought it was a telephone power line but it's actually a zip line because um, you can zip line here in the state park so that's really cool but it's so peaceful out here we have the mountains in the distance I think this is definitely a must if you come to Helen because it doesn't seem that busy like maybe on the Maybe we're just in the off season, but right now it's super, super, super calm. No one out here. That's where you either start the zip line or end the zip line. And then it comes up and across all the way over there. So we're gonna just meander around and explore the lake. This log is coming out of the water and you can see where it runs all the way down to over there where it fell. There's some turtles over there sitting on that little branch. I don't want to really get any closer because they'll jump off because that's what happened remember yeah, I <laughs> when we scared. were in Charlotte at the Whitewater Center and if you if we honestly they're already probably like getting scared they with us here. So let's get further away. Oh, I'm sorry guys, we're trying not to disturb you. So we just stopped for a little break where they have an actual little beach here on the state park. So we can't actually like kayak all the way up to the beach because it's just a swimming area. So no boats allowed, but they do have a little dock right next to it. So we came over just to chill for a second we're pretty much on the opposite side of the lake from where we started and we've been going against the wind the whole time so hopefully on the way back it'll be a little bit easier because we'll be going with the wind but we're kind of hogging the coastline too just to like you know take a look at some of the wildlife and trees and stuff it's a really really nice day out and what's nice is like with the lake the sun's kind of out on you which is good because it's the water's still pretty cold um so it kind of like helps counteract that but it's just so like peaceful being out here. I got a little water in my kayak, the little tadpoles are swimming in it. It's so Ew. cool. <laughs> I wouldn't want the tadpoles in with me. I know, I think one crawled up my butt. Ew. Just kidding. There was a ton of tadpoles in the water, like yeah. where we launched the kayaks, like a ton That's where they of got tadpoles, in. yeah. Oh, and we haven't seen like a, a single person out on the water, I like know. literally not one person out on a kayak or paddleboard, even at this like beach over here. There's like nobody, so. This must be their off season. Yeah, super, super like quiet and peaceful here. I feel like this is actually a nice time to visit because it's getting just warm enough. You can't do the tubing yet, so that's the only downfall. Because that's like a popular thing here is to go tubing. But the fact that you can come kayaking and see all of the stuff in Helen without having yeah. to deal with a lot of crowds is nice. It is, yeah. So Unicoi Lake, which is actually called Smith Lake, but um, it's often referred to as Unicoi Lake because it's in Unicoi State Park. But it's a 44 acre lake and it's really popular for people to come swimming, kayaking and fishing. There's several species of fish that are really popular for people to come and fish for here. 
So, and it's just really like a beautiful lake to drive by. Like I said earlier, there's a, a road that runs um, like right around the lake and there's like a little bridge there. And I kept seeing this lake because it's on the way from our Airbnb to Helen. I'm like, oh, that's just so beautiful. Like, and it seems a little like underappreciated. Like there's not a lot going on here. But if you are visiting the area, I definitely think that you should stop and do some sort of activity here on the lake because it's just really gorgeous and just like kind of like beautiful set right in the middle of the mountains. Hi. Hi. I don't know about you guys, but like the way I like to kayak is just to get out into a nice area and then just like sit and relax for the rest of the time <laughs> and then go back. Like I see people like paddling constantly and I'm just like, it's not fun. Like my shoulders hurt. My back. Right. It's like a workout. So I personally, like if I'm coming to, to work out, I guess. But for fun, I think it's nice to just like pick somewhere where it's pretty. That's and it. get out to a nice area and then just like chill. Plop your ass. Plop your ass down. <laughs> and sunbathe. All week we've had our eye on this little bakery, Hoffer's Bakery. We just kept missing it each day. You know, we'd get here after it closed or we'd run out of time at the end of the day or be running to our next activity. So it's our last day here and we're leaving this morning, but we actually got up a little extra early today to check it out because last night at dinner, and that's all everybody was talking about and they said that we couldn't miss it. It's just like, I think it's just like a staple in the community really. And what we found out is they even supply like a lot of the restaurants in the area, their desserts. What's really cool about it is that you like, we're walking in, we really don't know what they're gonna have. Every morning they bring out all new stuff um, and even by the hour, every hour they're bringing out new stuff. So we're gonna go in and check out what they have for this morning. So I think we went a little overboard. <laughs> yeah, but let me tell thinking. you, I knew I was in trouble the minute that we walked in. Oh I wish you guys God. could feel and smell this bread. It just came out of the oven. The bag is And it's warm. so, still like so warm and soft. The, the donuts just looked amazing. Now some of the stuff we got, cause I think we're gonna be doing dinner with some friends. So, you know. At our next destination, dessert. yeah. Yeah. Um, so so, so, tell, yeah, so tell everybody what we got. Okay, so we got the bread. We got a <laughs> strawberry cream cake. Yeah, those uh, those cakes were looking so good because oh, they man. almost look like um, those Entenmann like strawberry danishes, yes. but I'm sure they're like way better. But that's what they look like, but they're more in like a circular cake form. Yeah, got a couple donuts. A couple down. muffins. What is this again? Oh, uh, the Bavarian muffin. No, 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 that's oh. the... Um, uh, bread oh, pudding. Bread pudding. We all love bread pudding, so we got yeah, that. Yeah, especially good bread pudding. I got the cranberry nut muffin because it looks so good. It had like the crystallized sugar did, baked on yeah. top. I'm telling you, that bakery. Oh my god. I couldn't live here. I'd be in trouble. Right. I can already tell you this is like I haven't even tried it yet, but I could just tell by like the look and smell that this is like definitely a must that you have to hit if yeah. you're in Helen. Yeah. The only thing they didn't have was coffee, which is kind of weird. So now, yeah, okay. I'm gonna try to go down the street to get a coffee. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Here's a donut. Here's a donut. <laughs> Let's see it. That's a glaze donut twist. Mm -hmm. That's so good. Very oh. good. Look at the, look at the both of them. Mm -hmm. I watched the Twilight. Oh, wow, that's a yummy day. I'll take a bite. All right, I got the, um, Cranberry nut muffin. Oh, it even looked better in the container because it's like sugar and yeah. slides on top. Let's see what Tucker thinks. All right, you're the t taste tester. That's a big old piece. Right that here. is. Toby wants to try a piece All right, too. What do you think? Give it a rating. <laughs> um, on scale of no more to a lot more, took a lot more. <laughs> Right. 
right because like the amount of times you sit on the toilet it's more than the average person right and the amount of hours is certainly more than the average person <laughs> talk about it <laughs> talk about it oh hold on apparently it was found by um some guy back in some time <laughs> would you look at that <laughs> just look at it Oh, is that how you walk down a hill? That's how you walk down the hill. That way your head's level. <laughs> you don't want to mess up your equilibrium. What a weirdo. That's your husband. I know. <laughs> it's a time to die. Is it? Everything is that good. How was it? Bathrooms are not so good. <laughs> this is that good. <laughs>